Hello, everybody. Welcome to the show. I'm your host, David Burroughs, and this is episode number 93. Are you ready? Are you ready? Hello, everybody. Once again, and as always, thank you for taking the time to stop on by right here on the show. And as always, I can hear you. Yes, please take the time to subscribe and share this video with five new friends every week so we can keep getting bigger and better for all of you out there. All right, well, summertime's been a busy time, and this past weekend, no exception at all, and uh, we couldn't be everywhere. But we did get down to the Can-Am Powerboat Races, the third annual returning to Sarnia, down by the bay, if you will, and of course the power boats, the big attraction down there. Indie Fest was down there. We had a booth along with many other vendors uh, showing off some crafts and music, and it was just a lot of fun. But of course, major, major part of the Canon Powerboat races, aside from the boats, the music entertainment that was happening down there, and we had all access once again. And we're going to show you some of that footage right now. In the beginning, of course. We got to meet the Trues. That's right. We got down there Friday afternoon, a chance to meet the Trues. Some other people did as well from K106.3. That was a lot of fun. And then we're going to show you some of the footage uh, from the Trues that evening as well. Some of the bands that played earlier, like Painkiller Jane, uh, I'm sorry, we didn't get a chance to see them, but we did hear them. Uh, we were just tied up at the Indie Fest booth. So, great performances by all. We'll show you what we've got on that. Then, of course, it's on to Meet 5440. We got to meet those guys backstage as well. We got some more great footage and a very special interview. My friend Anthony Dupree, him and I go way back. Anthony was so happy to see him with Big Papa and the Machine, but we got an interview with Anthony first, and we also got a chance to see Retrospect, and well, there was just lots of things happening. So, let's take it down right now to the third annual Can-Am Powerboat Races. Check this video footage out, and then we'll be back with more. Does that create feedback of any sort? Mine's bigger than yours. Finally got it. We're standing here talking to the crews. You know, live TV. 1920. See some sexiness, boys. Uh, backstage here down at the Can-Am Powerboat Races and some great performances happening last night and tonight now and we just saw a retrospect we'll show you that but right now and a very dear old friend of mine I'm so excited to see you Big Papa how you doing Anthony I'm good Dave and yourself I'm just excited to be seeing you again it's been uh, we go back a, a ways to the JVC days yeah absolutely but let's talk about what's happening here tonight Big Papa and the machine been around a while uh, what's what's going on with you guys uh, getting ready to perform? But yeah, we've been going? we've been playing uh, um, a lot of nice events this year. Um, a bridge bash. Uh, we we're playing Arch Beach and Eats again. Fifty four forty, which is I can't believe that we got That's this. Awesome. 
And being from the States, we really appreciate the opportunity to come over here and be able to play for a great Canadian band, man. This is awesome That's for awesome. Us. Well, Big Pop in the Scene, always a big performance. I want to talk real quickly about you, though. All right. The voice. What does yeah. that mean to you? It's a, it's a huge mountain to climb, man. It was a great experience. I went to New York City, auditioned for The Voice, first time in NYC. Crazy place, you gotta go. <laughs> but it was a great experience, and um, next time I'll be better prepared. Uh, I'm getting outside of the box. I went as R&B, but I sing rock, so I'm, yeah. I gotta be who well, I am. Well, they're crazy if they didn't pick you anyway, because we I know you and love that. you. I appreciate what, uh, it. Can you give us a clue what you're gonna start off here with? Ooh. Well, we're going to get way outside of the box, and we're going to open with some Adele. Awesome. Yeah, Adele. Yeah. Yeah. All right, sounds good. Well, yeah. we're going to show you some of that footage here on the show, so keep watching. Big pop in the machine, my good friend Anthony, coming up in just the a moment. show, keep watching and supporting <laughs> this guy. I'm telling you, do it. All right. I love him. Um, uh, all right, let's watch that footage right now. Well, good times. Once again, the third annual Powerboat Races. Congratulations to the organizers of that event. Thank you very much to the Trues, 5440, and all the bands that performed down there and K106.3 for giving us a chance to meet both of the bands. And lots of people got to uh, get a chance to do the meet and greet, as you saw there as well. And all the bands doing a great job. Looking forward to next year. Got some great photos as well. We've got some of them on Facebook. But you can also go to LampinShield.com and look for the write-up that's going to be coming about the third annual Powerboat Races. All right, well, we're going to change genres a little bit. We've been doing the rock and roll and a little bit of country, but now we're going to take you into the blues. Specifically, this guy is incredible, phenomenal. He's got the tag, that's for sure. John Diamato, known as the Blues Man, right from the home of the blues, Memphis, Tennessee, and he's got a new album coming out, True to the Blues, and we're going to talk to him right now. So check out this interview, John Diamato from Memphis, Tennessee, the Blues Man, right here in the show. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this week on the show, very excited. And I know I say that all the time, but uh, I'm always excited when we have uh, some great artists here on the show. And this week, doing our Skype interview all the way from the home of the blues in Memphis, Tennessee, he is known as the Blues Man, and rightfully so, because he is number one in the blues category out of Memphis, Tennessee on Reverb Nation. We're very, very excited, very, very proud. John Diamato, the blues man, joining us here. How are you today, John? Doing great, David. How are you? I am 
very excited because, uh, you know, uh, your promoter and agent, uh, we've been trying to work this together for a while. And uh, congratulations, by the way, on being number one on Reverb Nation. That's That's got to make you feel pretty good. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a major blessing. I'm really excited about that, especially uh, on the Memphis charts, you know. That's, that's really kind of a, a nice uh, pat on the back. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, being the home of the blues in Memphis, Tennessee, and, and all that sort of, and, you know, and all that sort of jazz. No pun intended. I don't know. What's <laughs> but I, I just want to throw in there, too, that, uh, you know, you're down in Memphis, Tennessee. We, we have a, um, a local uh, blues group that uh, here in Sarnia, uh, Little Chicago, they're called, and they went down to London, Ontario, to qualify to be down in Memphis, Tennessee for the Road to the Blues contest. And uh, so they're going to be excited to be talking right. and seeing you as well. So that's that's really great. Uh, listen, well, we got lots to talk about here, John. But let's get into something really, really special that's that's happened to you okay. uh, uh, with uh, Joe Lewis Walker, of course, uh, Grammy nominee and producer. Yeah, Joe Lewis and I, Joe Lewis Walker and I met about five years ago when St. Blues flew us out to uh, L.A. We both endorsed their guitars. Well, I do now. Joe's moved on to Gibson, as a matter of fact. Um, okay. St. Blues is a guitar manufacturer out of Memphis. Great, makes great handmade guitars. We hit it off as friends and players and really respected each other's playing and just got along great. And he said to me, you know, someday I'm going to have you play on my album. And, and he made good on that promise. So I wound up on Hellfire, which was his latest release, which was nominated for a Blues Award this year. Right. So it really was, it was exciting. Totally agree with that. And he's been in the Blues for such a long time. And, and, and the amazing thing is to just sit there and hear him tell stories about, you know, the old days with B.B. King and Buddy Guy and oh, yeah, right. everything else. Um, we all tell him he should be writing a book about it because it's really amazing. I know you're in. Well, let's move yeah. on with you, John, some more, being the blues man and number one on Reverb Nation. Uh, but you've got some other exciting things happening. Uh, uh, you know, you've already had your first CD, but you're in post-production right now of your next CD called uh, True to the Blues. How's that working out right now? Uh, it's coming along great. I'm really excited about it. I've, I've written every song on this one, uh, okay. and I'm really excited about all the material. Uh, I was really fortunate and blessed to go down to, to to go down to Sun Studios in Memphis and record it, which that was the whole that was of rock awesome. and roll. Would you say that's the the studio of rock and roll? Well, yeah, it is. But you know, um, um, but it's blues. Uh, Holland Wolf, Holland Wolf recorded there, he, and uh, so it's all there, you know. Yeah, and it was everything just, there. just a great feeling. Oh, that's great. Now you've uh, have you got some places? I know. I mean, you're doing a lot of traveling, of course, and you're doing uh, you know the recording and thing. But do you have some uh, when you're home? Do you have some regular spots that you play around at? Well, I actually don't play around much when I'm home. I'm usually kind of just in the studio or working on a tour or okay. you know something like that. It, 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 and lately, I've just been trying to get this this CD finished, so I've been focusing all my efforts on that. Okay. Well, let me ask you about, let's focus a little more on the, you know, True to the Blues. Um, sure. How would you say that this is different? Because it is, I think, from what I've listened to, uh, compared to your first CD that you did. There's, there's a little bit of differences in there, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I think so. I think my first CD was more, as I said, I think I've come into more of a songwriter on this, come into more of my own as a songwriter on this CD. All right. Um, you know, I've been, I, I originally moved to Nashville and was doing, doing that for a while, about 12 years ago. So doing the songwriting thing and, and playing with some, some country acts, believe it or not. And, and, uh, and then it just wasn't happening for me. I wasn't happy. wasn't feeling what I wanted to feel from it. Yeah. So I think a little of that Nashville sound got on the first CD. I, I kind of put that CD out really quickly and, and just wanted to get something out there. So this one I really took my time, really picked the, the music out and, and, and really feel that it's, it's staying true to the blues. Right. And, you know, I, I, that's, that's, I think, a fair, accurate answer for as, uh, you know, as, as tiny bit of I've listened to, but I, I really got the sense of, uh, not that the first one wasn't awesome, but you seem more, right. fo- you seem more focused to the blues and, and what you were doing on this one. And, and is that maybe where the name True to the Blues came from? Exactly right. Yeah. Exactly right. It, yeah. sh- it, it, it shows, or shall I say, it sounds that way, and that's for sure. Uh, yeah. Have you ever played in Canada? Uh, no, I never have, actually. I, I really want to. Yeah? Okay, so we could maybe uh, talk to, uh, you know, Bounce the Cat, Rick Perry. Uh, he's your yeah, that's right. agent, right? So we could probably uh, work something yeah, out with sure. him. 
He's helped you a lot, has he? Yeah, he's, he's been a great asset. He really has. Um, I worked with him part-time over the last year, and then I just asked him uh, about a month ago to just come on full-time for me. Now, we've got yeah. some video of you playing the cigar box guitars, right? Yeah. Um, and uh, we're going to move on uh, in, in a minute with that, but can you can – you, you know the video I'm talking about. Can you share a little bit about where that was and what was happening in that video? Sure, sure. I uh, I had just gotten that uh, cigar box guitar from St. Blues. They started building cigar box guitars about a year ago, and uh, I went down there right before I got on on the road in in, um, in November of last year, and they gave me that, and they gave me their new American model guitar. And the, the guitar is so cool; um, it's just a lot of fun to play. And I've been messing around with this song, Helicopter Blues, and I said, you know, again, getting back to the true to blues band, I need to do something with just that cigar box guitar. Yeah. And I actually, my wife filmed it. I filmed it in my, my studio at home right here. Um, okay. Yeah, and, and uh, I, you know, I'm, I'm doing it again. Actually, the, the studio version will be obviously sound a little better, have a little more quality, too. But it was just, I said, let me just put this out there and, and see what kind of response okay. I got. Well, we'll look forward to following up with you then and having you back on the show and, and uh, playing some okay. of the music okay. and the videos. Uh, Blues Man, John D'Amato joining us here on the show. John, thank you so much for your time. And uh, we Thanks. wish you all the best for success, and uh, we'll be looking forward to uh, hearing more from you up in September, and we'll get you back on the show. Okay. Thanks again, David. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, very, very flattered to have John D'Amato, the blues man, and rightfully so, number one on Reverb Nation out of Memphis, Tennessee, home of the blues. And uh, we're going to show you some of that cigar box video right now and some other things. So stay in touch here, folks. Here comes John D'Amato. Turn up the speakers and listen to some great blues right now on the show. John Diamato, the blues man from Memphis, Tennessee, number one on Reverb Nation out of Memphis, Tennessee for blues, and we're very thankful. Thank you, John, for being here on the show. I want to say also a special thank you to Bounce the Cat, Rick Perry. Thank you for bringing that interview together. And uh, if you want to find out more of who Bounce the Cat is promoting, visit him at BounceTheCat.net. We're looking forward to having John Diamato back here in the fall when he's got his new album, True to the Blues, out. Thanks so much again, guys. 
All right, well, let's talk about what's happening this weekend. Lots of things. Let's take you down to the Imperial Theater coming up August 15th through 17th. That's this Thursday, Friday, Saturday, 7 o'clock nightly, $20 a ticket. It's the Wedding Singer, kind of a flashback to the 80s. Remember that? Well, they're putting it on. Diversion Entertainment is putting this on, and some local folks are going to be in this performance as well. We're looking forward to get a chance to check that out. But it's only $20. Tickets available down at the Imperial Box Office Theater. And once again, only $20 this Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, beginning at 7 o'clock. Also, we're going to head down to Craven's Chill and Grill down on Xmel Street. Cornerstone, local band, will be down there performing. That starts at 10 o'clock. And I'm uh, going to really try hard to get down there. I haven't seen these guys in a while. I'm looking forward to their performance as well. Also, coming up, Markers. If you remember Markers, he performed at Indie Fest a little while back. He's celebrating his 21st birthday down at the Stubborn Mule, the new sidebar down at the Stubborn Mule. So get down there and check that out. It's going to start at 7 o'clock in the evening. Also going to be some other performances with uh, a couple of locals as well, one of them being Matt Moran. So make sure you get down and celebrate Marker's 21st birthday. It's going to be $5 at the door, but you'll be supporting independent music once again. All right, also, just to give you an update, if you haven't heard yet, Indie Fest happening August the 24th, out back at the Mule, that's right, we're going to put a stage out back there. During the day, we will open the doors at 12 o'clock, and 1 o'clock in the afternoon, we'll have some music, and then around 2 o'clock, we're going to have the first ever Youth Talent Showcase. If you're between the ages of 14 and 19, or you know someone who is, we want to get you up on stage. There's no cost to go in this. It is a bit of a contest, but everybody's going to get a prize. We're going to give away, uh, first place will have four hours recording studio time, second place will have two hours, third place will have one, courtesy of Dave Allen from Sugar Tone Productions, and we're going to have some other things going on down there as well. Painted Cat is going to be down there uh, painting up some faces rock and roll style or whatever you want. She'll have some henna tattoos as well. We're going to have some a barbecue going on out there and a few other things happening as well. So, tickets... Minimum $5 donation at the door for $5.30. The day part will be free up until $4.30. And then after that, it's five great bands. What's happening? Southern Fried Incorporated will be there. And then along, local group Iron Shirt will be performing. And then we're also going to have Abandoned Souls making a return as well. Zealot's Desire will be here. They played Indie Fest a little while back. And our headliner, we're very, very excited. They played Indie Fest back in May. Everglow makes a return, and we're going to have five great bands, and all we're asking for is a minimum $5 donation. If you make a $10 or more donation, you'll get a ticket to the show and also an Indie Fest t-shirt. Pretty good deal for 10 bucks or more. All right, so we're looking for your support. We really appreciate you coming out and supporting independent music. You're supporting the artists and supporting Indie Fest so that we can keep it going again next year for all of you. Don't forget, if you want to be here on the show, you know what to do. Send me an email at the show at davidburrows.ws. doesn't matter what you got going on. If you think it's important enough to share, you want to get some uh, publicity out of it, send me that email to show at davidburrows.ws. That's all the time I got for you this week. Have a great week and an even better weekend. We'll see you next time right here on the show. Bye for now.